This week we're playing our first conference match against Gonzaga and I will slice every single backhand for the entire match. Also guys, don't forget to comment below any thoughts, ideas or anything that crosses your mind when watching this video. I love to engage and talk with you guys and really appreciate it when you leave a comment. My plan to only slice started in doubles and I was playing with a new partner today, Tyler Davis, who from the camera looks just like me. There's a slice line coming in handy here and Tyler tries to put away this volley, but he's there and throws up a lot, but it ends up out. When all here, my partner had a really good serve, even second serve, and as you can see, it's pretty easy for me to cross and go and take that volley. We hold and we're up to one now, and this is a fun rally, a bit of weed tennis volley to volley as you can see here. The match goes on pretty regularly, all hold for hold. His return hits a nest trap, so I don't get the volley, but the rally goes on. I try to make a move here, but he dips it right at my feet, and I miss. 15.30 here, and a great serve T by Tyler, but a really good return by them, and we're in a bit of trouble. Triple break point. The priority now was obviously trying to break back and we needed this point to get into this game. The priority now was obviously trying to break back and we needed this point to get back into this game. Big winner here. At 30 all however, the match gets abandoned and we already reached the doubles point on the other courts. In singles I was playing for my first time ever at the number one position, so very happy about that. A little bit nervous maybe, especially since I was going to slice every single back in today and not hit a single two-hander, but it is what it is. I was playing Sasha Trukulia, sorry if I butchered the name, UTR 12.77 and ranked 1609 ATP. My race had really suffered and got worse the past weeks, so you know, I was trying to save myself for some tougher matches and in case this team match got close then I was gonna start playing two-handers. If I was going to serve like this though, I was gonna be alright. My opponent was definitely more an indoor type of player. He liked to come to the net a lot, throw in some serving volley, and I knew for a fact he didn't like these low courts. I knew he was gonna alternate trapping me into my back end corner and moving me around, so I had to try to dominate myself. 40-30 here, and you don't wanna get to deuce in these college matches because it can get really tricky playing these pressure points. As you can see, I'm just slicing and trying to keep him on the back end side. This one is short, so he uses the chance to come to the net, and I do just enough to take home the game. 15.30 here this next game, and I'm getting more in the match. More aggressive and finding good depth with my foreign. Great point to earn break points. He takes home the 15.40 point, but I still have a good break point here, second serve. Good deep return on the slice, and I think these points where he has to win at all costs, he just traps me on the back inside, and yeah, I end up missing badly here. One more chance on deuce point though, as he gets a good first serve, but after I make the return, he tries to dictate inside out, and misses by a very small margin. Being a breakup when you can't play backhands really gives you quite some breathing room, and makes you play freer. As you can see, I hit an insane slice here. I'm 40 love. A good kick serve wide and he misses the return. I was getting more comfortable as the match went on and if I was him I would just honestly focus on not making me hit a single foreign. But I guess he wanted to keep me on my toes. 30 on I could potentially snatch another break point here. A good foreign return to push him out in which he can just about defend. I dropped her to his back and then wait on that corner so that I could get a foreign on the next ball. Deuce point here and obviously he goes to my back end. My return is a little high and he can close the volley with ease. Deuce point, and this time I try to surprise him going line with the slice return, but he's able to put it again on my back end, and I try to get this just over the net, but not enough power. Honestly, if I was him, that's all I do, just kick to the back end and come forwards. He'll probably win many more points. Anyway, I'm 15-30 down this next game, and my slice is a little bit short, so he comes in. But he made one mistake, he approached to my forehand. 30 all, and on my second serve he goes for the aggressive return line, which just floats wide. I end up holding that game to go up 4-2, and when I had a 4 in this match, I really wanted to waste no time to do damage. And I even hit a back and slice winner here. I knew that he was starting to figure out that he had to keep coming forwards, even though these courts were slow. Both to hit his best game, but also because it was really tough for me to pass him in these conditions. 15 all, and he serves with some spin right at my body, and then he wastes no time to approach to the back end. But I played his floating slice line, which I've learned how to do, and he doesn't expect it, and I guess the surprise effect just makes him miss. Most times when your opponents approach and you can only slice, they expect a low cross like I return here. But that's why going line a little higher can really put them off guard like I did in the point before. Anyway, I earned a breakpoint opportunity here there, and he doubled faults. So I was now serving for the set and the service games were much easier because most of the time I could get a foreign on the second ball and that really set up the point for me. A decent enough volley and then overhead just to finish on the other side. It became clear to me pretty quickly that he did not like defending and wasn't as good as it as when he attacked. So I knew that I had to keep being aggressive and move him. It really made winning points much easier. Triple set point and I served to the back end and that's enough to seal it. The start of the second set, you always need to be careful, no matter what the score is on who you're playing. Because if you start poorly, it can get real tough to come back in that set. I hit hard at the body in the first passing shot and then shanked the second one. 
30-15. And here, honestly, I hit one of the best shots I ever hit in a match. Oh, oh man! Wow. Now, I don't know how I even made that, but honestly, how can you not be pumped after a point like this? It was very predictable that now at this point I was going to be at 200% and that my spirit was like through the roof. Breakpoint and once again double fault. Serving a breakup was definitely a great feeling, but I knew he wasn't going to just sit and watch the rest of the match. I try my down the line slice pass again, but I just miss it wide. Love 15. Really good point by him here, and this could be trouble. Second serve here, and he tries to move me straight away from the return. And he looks for my back end, or my non back end, I mean. I get this one really deep, and kind of pull this inside in unexpectedly to win a very solid point. I still have work to do to get this game back though. Good low slices like these are the key to almost flip the points, because the opponent will most likely lift it. And you can go for an foreign next. Another one of these, and then I decide to approach on the foreign side. He hits a good pass, but I'm very close to the net and hit this volley winner. 40-30, and it would be really good confidence to win this game from lot 30. For the confidence, and also I knew it would be tough for him to endure. This slice isn't that great, but once again, as he goes for the inside out, he misses it. And he's made a few too many errors on these today. Anyway, focus is on the next game, as I have a break point. And as long as I could get a foreign here, I knew I would be okay. And there we go, double break lead. 3 low, 30 15 now. And not much has changed really in my strategy plan. Just being aggressive with the foreign and not hitting too many backhands. Even though I think that my slices definitely annoyed him, as opposed to a regular backhand, as he missed quite a bit off of them. After a couple here, I go for an impossible drop shot, and that doesn't make it past my own end. I still get up to 40 30 though, but a double fault earns him a break point. Again on second serve here, but I'm extra aggressive and don't want to fall behind and be the one to defend. This approach just about gets the job done. This point in the next game, I really get trapped into the back end corner. Let's see if I can get out of it. Yeah, as I said, I don't think he was too comfortable for my slice to be honest. Here he serves in volley again, and I give my one hander another shot here. And I guess I can make one but not two, that appears to be my limit. He gets up 40-30 and aces me T on a second serve to win his first game this set. His back in return was better in general, so I don't know why I kept serving there. As you can see, I'm forced to save the day with this dead slice. And then I was getting in the hang of it, so I was like, you know what, let me give my one hander another shot here. 40-30, big point to go 5-1. Five one it is then, and even though the match score is not updating, we're up 3-0 at this point. So I would be the clencher if I take this home right now. I hit this big inside in four in here, and then I'm left with this bit awkward ball for someone who can only slice, but I do make the best of it eventually. He gets up to 40-15 with a good serve though, and after this hit down the line, follows it, as he knows I can only kinda just make that. I read this cross court half volley, and put out the one hander once again, and then pass him with the four. Maybe you should just switch to a one hander at this point, let me know in the comments. Anyway, another game point that starts with a slice return and serve and volley, followed by another one hander right at him, and then a pretty good lob for my standards. And he does get to it, but he just puts a little bit too much power there, and it goes out. Deuce point here, really good serve to my backhand, but I survive, and then follow with another slice cross to push him back. I approach inside out, but I miss it long as he makes it 5-2. Not a big issue though, as I'm serving for the match. And I'll let you watch this point, as it's probably the longest one in this entire match. all another tough point. It's almost as if the quality went up this last game. Uh, 
4015, triple match point. And what a way to seal it. I like my arm loose and that really pays off. Very good day for many reasons today. First win at number one. Also felt good to clinch at number one. And first conference win for us, so overall a great day. Gonzaga wasn't maybe as good as other teams we've played even these past weeks, but I still think it was a good display from the team, and for me personally, good to find winning ways even without a back. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the match and what you would like to see in the future. Stay tuned for more videos.